pick up the Karina. So on the other side though, SMG picking up the Geef is going to be starting to snowball right now along with that Melissa uh, on Anya. But Jogs on the Akai. So Ram 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 can play a little more damage tank or Ram Ram could go into a D-Roth in the EXP lane. I love that Evo is leaving their EXP lane to the end, right? They're not revealing anything to SMG and it's harder for them to decide what to pick up because SMG, they want to be able to have a winning lane in the EXP lane. This is definitely going to help, you know, uh, Dewey rotate to the other parts and maybe help Enya if he needs that, for example, or contest objective. But now, now they don't know. Now they don't know. Uh, or maybe they have a good guess, better than I do, right? Yeah. And now they have to pick up the last two heroes. It is going to be the Rafaela as well as the Lapu. Wow. Okay, so that Rafaela is going to grant them that mobility and that speed. So it's going to be a very, very divey Kong here. And then Joe in the back line, Anya in the back line, just shredding them down. Terry healing them and give, providing a disengage if possible. And Lapu Lapu on Ram 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 just going to go right in and Jocks gonna disrupt the whole entire team, split the team apart, and then the rest of SMG can follow up and Dairy will come in with the you big should. stun. JS instead gonna go for the Fedrin. Scrubby, you called this. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's this number of EXP heroes oh, that are currently played. They could that's surprise true. us, but I think seeing JS play this multiple times before definitely yeah. helps. And the fact that he can just go in, single out one person uh, to take that away from the fight. Exactly, single out that one person away from the fight and that is going to be that Fredrin and Powerful going to be on the Karina, Coconut on the Bruno, Carrot on the Grok, Melon. What could Lemon steal right here? Uh, Melon, sorry. Melon could even take the RWM, right? Because he's already having that magical damage. Yes. Yeah, he could yes. even take um, Rafaela's ultimate, right? I mean, it depends, right? The yeah, important thing is he has options. At the objectives, if he wants to isolate yeah. Jocks, he could just pick the heavy spin. They can go Beyblades full on on that. Yeah, I mean, um, just yeah. banging heads. But if they want to play the team fight, then you can steal the real manipulation. Oh, so that's true. he has options. And I think that's the great thing now about uh, Evil's draft. They kind of have that to play around with. Whereas on the other hand, SMG, very divey, like you very said, divey. all in or all out. That's Five right, seconds guys, and till the enemy reaches the battlefield. All right, well, match two. Thank Smash you so much, time. Vertigo. This is going to be match two, game one. At Team SMG with their divey Welcome comp versus Team Legends. Evil. That one is going to be coming up. We kind of, I mean, the, you know, they gave you their analysis in terms of who we, the, who they thought they had an advantage. But you know, at least for me, I think Team SMG could just kind of sticks out a bit. I, I really like the Akai pick. I like the Eve. Uh, you have Lapu Lapu, but you have a lot of potential that's there. But Evil have their own counters in the sense that they have the Valentina, the Grok, as well as the Bruno, which have kind of been really meta, as, at least for the past couple of weeks. So I think they're in a great spot here. Um, yeah, it feels like two different strategies that they're playing, right? And looking at Evil's side as well, there's a lot of isolation. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of single target going on, especially on Bruno. Yes, you have the wave of the world, but uh, you, you, you tend to look out for one person uh, and the Gronk with the wild charge as well. So I think Melon has a crucial role to play if he wants to help to disengage some of, the, uh, of these team fights and help his members focus down on a single person. Okay, now as just the team, I mean the drafts aside, if we're just looking at the teams, which team do you think has a little bit more pressure, especially into game one? Uh, this game number one. Mm. Well, let's see. Uh, the more tough pressure. thing is Evil has the Valentina, right? So Very you good could, early game. Exactly. So mm. I want to say that Akai and Yiv definitely provide that um, capability in terms of contesting the first turtle because you have that whole, you know, grid, obviously. Yes. I mean, um, it's, a, it's a good zoning tool too, right? You have the real world manipulation. You do not want to stand inside the real world manipulation unless I don't know there's something wrong with you or you're building tankiness right <laughs> if you have something wrong with you you do not stand inside the real world manipulation I will disown you if you stand inside there for too long and you're not building tank right I mean if you're a marksman if you're a mage why would you be standing in there right yeah. unless you tell me you know you can kind of disrupt the real world manipulation then sure no problem you, you deserve to be in the box all right well we're gonna find out who's in the box as we go into match one game one this is gonna be the start smg versus evil too much pressure elimination series this is gonna be off the chains for sure and you know we have a live crowd here you know they're gonna be rooting for their teams as well so here we are, and I think when we were talking about the first objective as well, not, I mean, yes, SMG has the big ultimates, but so does Evil with the Valentina and the Wild Charge. So I think it's down to 
whether they can get those critical skills up in time for the objective or whether or not they bait out something from the opponent. Yeah, I, I think you're 100% right. I mean, it comes down to who can team fight better, right? Both of them just kind of want to just clash or whatever. But if you're looking at what Evil do, they tend to be a little bit more on the squishier side. Yeah, they have the Grok. But, I mean, everyone else is kind of like, they get up on you, they're going to burst you down, right? So it's one of those things where you do need to be a little bit careful. For sure. And Look at Coconut, right? He is so tucked away under his turret as well. Uh, pushed in entirely by Enya. So this is a good start for SMG here. And you can see that Carrot has to kind of rotate up top to be able to make sure that he's doing fine. But so are the members of SMG. Yes, definitely so. And uh, if we're looking at Rum Rum Rum, tends to uh, be the solo, uh, you know, tends to be all by himself. Um, I, I think it's because of lack of friendship. No? <laughs> No? Wow, that's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We all, all jokes aside, rum, rum, rum. He's used to this one. He understands. But evil here, they're probably going to make a jump. They do get the knock up, but only JS has kind of uh, given away his position. They are grouped up, though, on the bottom side. You can see uh, both of these teams, Evil, trying to clear up more of the jungle, but they're pressuring down SMG, taking more control here. Will SMG be able to destroy? Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, they nice taunt there. Joe getting a little bit... A uh, knock up one more time. No final, final damage. Melon tried to go for it. He's going to pay for his sins. Rum, rum, rum will secure first blood. Oh, unfortunately, it didn't connect. Melon didn't get that last hit, and because of that, SMG looks like they will get this turtle for Free, no. powerful, might want to contest it, but it's actually reset here. Oh, it's been reset. The barrier was on point, just knowing the limits. Carrot, just putting that barrier down, forcing the turtle out so that he has to just run back into the lair. He's going to regen, makes it very frustrating for SMG, who now will take it with Jocks right, using Retribution. Now the fight continues. Rum 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 is dead. Powerful is on the run, trying to get it. Joe and Jocks both got the speed back. Speed burst, and they're going to be out of there. Oh, that Cyclone Ice so crucial in getting them out of that fight. Uh, Evil, they wanted compensation from losing that turtle there, but didn't quite get it. Powerful's just going to strip a little more off the jungle away from SMG where they can, but uh, looks like, I mean, we're taking a look at the items here, right? I think um, for the side of SMG, it's Dewey on the Everest as well. So adding to that HP regen, not going to be as tanky inherently as the side of Evil, for example, Carrot on that Grok. So making up for that in a little um, little bit of that aspect. But both junglers, they're going to go ahead with the Demon Slayer emblem to focus on securing objectives. It's all about objectives, right? I, I think that's going to be the most important thing, especially in this matchup, where it's almost 50-50, but it, it, it's really going to come down to who can control the objectives. Because that will dictate the, the pace of this game, how much aggression and how much uh, it, it, sort of invasions that you can kind of pull off. But as I say, that SMG, they've kind of shown their hand. Evil have had the right counter. It's a three-on-three -three skirmish in the top lane. Well, it's SMG, again, taking the aggressive positioning. This is good for them. This is where they want to be. It's more comfortable. Uh, even though Davey's not quite playing that tanky hero, but he's able to support his teammates in terms of providing that movement speed and the threat of, you know, CCing on the Holy Baptism. It's going to be on point. Now, Evil, they're going to just kind of make sure that their mid lane is fine. Derry is trying to make a rotation here. Uh, but Melon doesn't need to be careful. Throws out the crystal probably the wrong way. But, <laughs> all right, yeah, that's going to be it. Seems like both teams are just being a bit careful here, right? Across the gold and the kill leads were pretty much split even. So they're trying to look for, you know, a key fight that's going to tilt the advantage in their favor. Uh, might be here in the mid lane as both teams group up for a bit. Yeah, but this is going to be the group up and there is a reason for that. And that is, of course, the turtle here. Evil will kind of start this one off, push him out. Carrot will kind of tank, at least for now. But Enya is within the vicinity. Bella does need to be careful. That crystal's on point. Melon. Slowed down. He's going to be real invitation. That's been stolen. He's going to look to turn this around. Derry's out of bad spot. He gets the safety. Enya, though, on the run. Do they have the damage? Coconut trying to get one last shot. Not able to do it. Enya gets away with a sliver of life. Wow, when the fight goes off, Powerful's still chasing down here. Oh, they're trying to go ahead to get the knock up on Jocks, and that's going to be a kill. JS will secure that, but Powerful is going to be killed in return. Rum 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 will die. Now, Derry, they do have the knock up. Do they have the damage? They do. And Derry will fall as well. And Melon. Gets that kill, and this is looking very good for Evil. 
this is the fight that we were talking about that tilts in your favor. The advantages and evil, they made such a good play, right? It almost seemed like Melon would have gone down there, didn't spot Enya in the bushes, or it seemed so that he missed it. But he turned around and he popped that real world manipulation and a uh, very well placed go away there. Uh, so I think Enya was able to get away from Coconut uh, there, right there up top. But still, evil chasing them down and making sure they got something. Yeah, so I, I just feel like Melon has just kind of brought this team to a different level. The fact that he was kind of out of position, but he was of the shade to safety, stolen real-world manipulation, like this guy is completely on another level. They, they, they need to figure out a way to stop Melon. But let's talk a little bit about the items here. Yeah, I think Melon, you can see, uh, already having that enchanted talisman. Um, and on the side of Enya, having that Wind Talker built in, uh, both about one-ish items, but Enya seems to be farming pretty well, even though Coconut has one kill to his name. Now, it seems like Powerful is going for uh, Molten Essence, so maybe a tankier build here, which means that it might be harder, like you said, to look out for Melon and Coconut in, in the back. Yeah, you got to keep those two alive. Th that, that, that is your win condition right there. You need to ensure that those guys can stay alive and do as much damage as possible. So sometimes you got to sacrifice your own game for the greater good in the sense of your team, but now Carrot trying to get something... Oh, the wall, just barely off the mark, but that will turn into a top turret. It's extremely good that they're converting their lead into an objective so, so quickly. And now, with that top turret secured, they have a better chance at controlling this bottom side of the, the map. In the mid lane, they might uh, have a skirmish. Yeah, skirmish, but they're just going to disengage. They saw too many members of EVIL and they're like, no, 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 no we're out of here. <laughs> but this is going to turn into a fight into the turtle here. Uh, Melon is fighting with Rom Rom Rom, and he's kind of by himself, something to take note of. But now, can, what can EVIL do? They're kiting off the turtle. It's out of the lair. It's in a pretty decent spot. The barrier is going to be on point, but they're just going to walk around that. We have an entrance to this one, and it looks like they're going to fight, and they did get the turtle, and that's going to be a good start. Rom 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 continuing to fight, but he's stuck in the middle of this. Melon is going to get out of this. The real world manipulation is on point. Rom 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 is down. Powerful continuing to fight. The barrier throwing Derry the wrong way. He's been caught out. Very nice barrier by Carrot. Very nice, very patient of Evil as well. Melon, you know, I was going to say it hinges on him. Mm. And he stole the heavy spin. He made sure that SMG could not get the objective. And still, he could make it out alive despite that real world manipulation. And Evil just being able to bait that out and chase them down after that. I think Vertigo, you know, he asked, who's going to stand in the real world manipulation? Powerful did. Yeah, just yeah. probably not the greatest it. idea, but okay, back to Melon. The fact that, you know, he, this guy seems to be an amazing thief. Right? You got to watch out for them. And the fact that they're on the team, you know, Team Evil, I think that speaks volumes of, hey, if you're a criminal, you might as well do a good job with Team Evil here. And they are. They're playing it really, really well now. Looking at the goalie, they have about 3k in their back. So they have been able to convert them into objectives so far, right? Get a lead, take the top turret. Get a lead, take the turtle. And even the bottom uh, first tier has been shredded down. So evil, they seem like they're totally in the driver's seat for now. Of course, I don't think we can count on SMG because you have Enya on that Melissa as well. So in a later part of the game, uh, yes, both of them do damage, but he has a little bit more of, you know, AOE damage mm. just because of the puppet. You definitely have a way. But now this is where SMG need to find those tiny windows of opportunity, right? They need to figure out some sort of pickoff. If you're looking at what kind of SMG have done, they've been more reactive this game. They haven't been able to take the fight to them. And as I say that, you know, even in this mid lane with four members of EVIL here and SMG not able to capitalize even in the other lanes. I mean, right now, they're pushed so far back, yes. right? So it's difficult yep. for them to do that. Mm. And <laughs> it's, look, Carrot is in the jungle as well. So they even have to start fearing uh, for this farm that whether or not they can take their farm and their jungle buffs. Oh, if we're going to go in the top lane, we're going to see Valentina just get into a bit of a fight there. And it looks like Rom 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 will secure that one. And this is another opening. Here we go. This is going to be with the Lord spawning it about now. I mean, sorry, spawned. <laughs> this is so good. You saw Powerful was already at the Lord, but Evil, they recognized an opportunity up top, capitalized on it, and now they are one member. They have a number advantage. Yeah, they have the advantage, but can they get the steal? Real world manipulation. Joe is going to be spotted here. He's going to be stopped. Coconut does need a death to save me. He's fine for now, but they've gotten the Lord, and that's going to be a huge one for Evil. They're looking to do the heavy swing. Melon is continuing to fight. Has a side. Derry down as well. And this is going all the way of evil with his commanding 9-2 lead. Oh my god. 
goodness. Usually you're like, okay, we got the Lord, let's back off. But no, Evil's like, we got the Lord, let's kill him and just go in for even more. Now they take the mid tier one turret along with that. They are steamrolling this. They're steamrolling. And again, this is the momentum that we talked about. They're having three game winning streak. Right, whenever you see teams do that, they're starting to synergize well with one another. The coordination has been on point. And Evil, this is why this is a team on the rise. Other teams need to be scared of what Evil are doing because they're peaking at the right time. I mean, you mentioned coordination, right? Yeah. That's the perfect word because yeah. so far, Evil's fights have been so well coordinated. Yeah. You can see they have the game plan. They wanted to take the Lord. Destroyed. They got the pick off on the top before they rotated. And even the way that they took that Lord, it was as if they used Coconut as a bait to go yeah, out. Yeah. And then he retreated before they fully engaged. And he was still alive with yeah. all of that. Yeah, and you were talking about earlier about the fact that they got a kill. They turned it into an objective. Rinse, repeat. Like, they keep doing this over and over and over. And they seem to be catching out everybody like even jocks here yeah he's got the barrier he'll be fine for now but again he will take in the fight to them jocks looking for the heavy swing real world manipulation though but js has been stuck all the way on the wrong side does he get the safety no he will die and you will secure that one now it's looking to be on carrot carrot's going to be on the run you've lost one now is the time to retreat and they recognize that, so they are going to go ahead and back off here. Uh, wasn't a good trade out there for them, I guess, but uh, it's still, you know, they still have the lead of about, you know, 5-ish K, so it's still in their hands. And the thing is, there's nothing on the map to take. Like, th yeah. there's no yeah. huge objective for SMG to contest off of this. Right, and then that's why being the aggressor is just so important. Right? Because you know when the spawns are going to happen. You'll be like, oh, the Lord is spawning in about 10 seconds. Let's make a play. Let's find a pick off, then turn that one into a Lord. But as I say that, Carrot, he gets the safety for now. He does use the flicker, though. He does, uh, with potentially the pull yourself together emblem, it does reduce his battle time. Oh, the barrier a little off the mark, though. They do have a nice two man stun, though. Powerful. Carrot are going to eat most of that one, and Jox is up in front. But again, SMG, they're committing a lot. They're trying to do something, but they're not getting the kills. Not just yet. I mean, right now, they just want to protect their jungle. You know, they need to farm up, especially Enya uh, to get that damage. And Joe, he's level 11 at this point. That's two levels down uh, compared to Melon. So it really isn't a great spot for them to be in. Now, this is the, the point where it changes teams. Can you play from behind? That's the mark yeah. of a really great yeah. team. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I think it's funny that you were calling out Joe. Like, come on. I'm, I'm saying that Team SMG need to do things better, but you're calling out Joe right <laughs> off the spot and saying he's not living up the park. But okay, no, I get that. Joe, this side, he is behind. He has been struggling. He's only 0-0-3, though. Hasn't really been able to find a mark. But now Carrot going in against four members of SMG. They need to be careful. But this is, of course, on the backside of the Lord fight. The barrier is going to be on point. The body slam is going to miss here. And now they're trying to go back in. JS does get the taunt. Melon. Run, run, run. Melon, Melon has now shown himself. The real world manipulates instantly cancels. The heavy swing is going to be on point. Powerful for the Lord. And now Joe is getting very low. Melon is getting low as well. Ram 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 has already been killed. Enya trying to finish off Melon. Not able to do it. Enya is he able to get alive. They do get the pick off and that's going to be a start. Melon is down. Coconut is down, then they turn this around. Nice turnaround by SMG there, right? It looked like Evil had it for a second, and yes, at least, at the minimum, at the they did secure the objective. But I think it was a good playback there by SMG to fight against that. They lost rum, 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 but traded three. All right, let's check out their incident replay and just kind of CSI the dead bodies on that one, because I think there was a little bit too much going on. Yeah, I mean, you can see, right, uh, Melon going in, and now uh, 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 SMG, they look like they want to retreat here and trying to back off, but Enya, the only one on the chase, oh my goodness, that oh. heal coming in from Derry, so clutch to be able to secure that one, and just the grit provided from Joe at that point to be able to make sure that Evil, you know, backs off. That heal doesn't happen, that might have changed, right? I, I mean, the entire fight right there, because of the fact that, like, most of the damage was by Melon on that one, and the fact that he got picked off there, very unfortunate for him, but, you know, SMG is starting to make plays. They're only 2K network lead, but Derry gets blown up. Coconut will secure that one. Carrot's all the way up in the front. Rolls out a good barrier, but I don't think they want to walk into this, but they did get the charge on the Lord, and that is value. For sure. I mean, almost one inhibitor down on the top side, and off of that evil, they take away, strip away the jungle off SMG as well. So they have nothing left on the map to take. My goodness, such a strong showing. Yes, they dropped three bodies there, but what, what did it matter? Yeah, what does it matter? I mean, they're in firm control, and again, Teams, if you're in your pubs, if you're just a normal viewer, understand what Evil are doing. They're turning the kills into objectives 
choking you out. You have nothing. Right now, SMG are literally fighting amongst themselves to get any sort of farm. But I think that, that signals, right, a little bit of hope for SMG here. Because True. if... Yep. That, that was a three-man body yep. fight, right? If mm. they were to get mm. more out of that, especially in the later part of the game, they could potentially turn that around. And when we talked about playing from behind, it's not about being able to win the game outright. Yeah. You yeah. want yeah. to get these yeah. small wins, right? Yes. Uh, just cover your mm. losses uh, here and there, and slowly, gradually, eventually, you might be able to get on par, mm -hmm. and then you have an equal chance again. Exactly, exactly. It's the baby steps, right? Yeah. You, you can't fly today or tomorrow or whatever. You need to kind of just make your, you got to crawl a little bit, make sure that you get to that level. And so that's kind of what they need to do. But we're going to hop back into this one. Of course, 11 6, 15 minutes, evil, still in firm control. But, you know, the only thing is, is that while I feel like they've controlled this entire game, this net worth lead is literally only 2K. That's true, that's true. I mean, uh, given that we, we felt like it was huge, right? But when you look at the goal difference, not that much. And I think that's also props to SMG. In the last few minutes, they have been able to close a little bit off that EXP lead and the gold lead. Mm -hmm. So this is looking pretty good for them. I mean, Enya at level 15, Joe at level 14 as well. So like we said, once you get back on equal footing, Yep. That's where, you know, you have more, uh, you increase your chances. Of course, of course. And it's not about how big it is, it's about the motion of the ocean. I think that applies in this game in the sense of it's how the game is playing out, right? The fact that, like, what is the momentum that's going on? Is SMG able to figure out some sort of way to get back into it? It's, again, little battles. Here's the Lord, it's been spawned. SMG are trying to fortify the area, provide that vision, but evil make a beeline, they run right into Jax. Uh, well, the thing is, the waves are pushed up on the side of SMG, so in terms of control, they, they, it doesn't look too bad in their favor. They've actually pushed it up, especially on the bottom side, and now Coconut is responding to it. Yeah, they have to, they have to respond to this. They have to push up the other lane, create a little bit of space. This is, again, a little bit of a window. SMG are probably not going to capitalize on this, especially since Coconut is already back in this fight, but this is setting you, yourself up. Look at what's happening in the top lane. Rum 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 is all by himself. He's trying to fix the lane there. He probably has to make a you know a, a beeline towards the Lord to eventually fight this one out because again it's a it's a bit of a waltz with how the Lords play out. Well, I think he is it's up to evil, right? Mm. If they recognize that they're one man short, do they want to pull the trigger immediately or are they gonna hold out a bit? Because eventually, like you see now, Rum Rum Rum's gonna make his way back and it's gonna kind of be a standoff. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, usually these things happen. I mean, they, they happen in, uh, uh, at times because nobody wants to do too much damage and just have it stolen, right? You want to make sure that you maybe get a pick off, you find some sort of angle. I mean, it's all about positioning in these fights. So again, just like a, like a waltz or whatever it is, you got to understand the partner, the spacing, all of that before you go into this. And I think for SMG, it's important that Rum 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 gets into this fight, especially because he's a Lapu Lapu. So when you pull the trigger, you want everyone there yep. uh, to be there at the same time. When, you know, uh, Rum 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 goes in, um, Joe would also pop the real, real world manipulation to go in together. And right now, uh, looks like they are waiting, just waiting to pull that. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit lower before you see one of the teams go all in on this one. The Lord is so close. A couple more, you know, pieces of damage. And then, of course, they have the retribution, but it's actually very, very close to the last health bar right now and it looks like now is the time green light go and it looks like Jox is for the lord Enya might die for this one but powerful is going to be res Enya walking away the real woman inflation keeping him alive rum 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 will he be able to get to safety he does for now but joe is trying to draw b he's on the run right now carrot trying to fight rum 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 somehow still alive he's going to be res carrot looking to fight js looking to get this one the barrier will split it off nobody died from evil nobody died. nobody died at all nobody died what a well-played fight by both of these teams. I mean, SMG, now they get the Lord in their hands. So this is awesome for them. Did not drop any bodies at all. And they have the objective. So you can see the tables have turned. What's that not a Marvel movie? Right? All the superheroes, the supervillains are fighting. Everybody's damaged. The objective gets killed in the end, but all of them are still alive. Like, everybody just packs up and they're like, eh, yeah, we, we, we will, we'll be fine for the next fight. I mean, Enya actually survived that. I think he almost, almost yeah. got down, right? And mm -hmm. uh, it was fortunate for SMG. Now they're fully recharged, though. They want to go for this push together with the Lord, and it starts with the bottom. Yeah, it's going to start with the bottom, and it's going to be the sixth man of the Lord does a charge into that out inhibitor turret in the bottom lane. It looks like they're going to take that one. That's going to be the first one of the game, something to take note of. Now, 
SMG trying to make their way into the mid lane. They're doing a lot of damage. The Lord is still here. The base is going to get gone on. The real world manipulation, but they don't really care. Karen is already down. Powerful is looking to fight this one. Enya solo again and again and again, but they got Rum at Rum Rum. Coconut will secure that one. SMG now have four members, two members down on Evil, and, uh, you know, it's a two for one. Looking good for SMG, and they still have Dewey up for the sustain, so they're gonna continue pushing into the lines of Evil here. SMG, they are looking good. Just oh, in. The heavy swing, throwing Powerful on the wrong side of this one. Do they have enough damage? Powerful gets the safety. Rural manipulation on the backside. No, they burst him down. Powerful is down. Derry's looking to go for this, and it's gonna be for the base, and it's gonna be... Oh, they're gonna continue to fight. Oh, oh Jax oh. has been red. They're somehow oh. standing, staying alive. Is this gonna oh be a hole? Gosh. I thought this was gonna be over. Coconut has been down most of the damage, but JS now looking to fight. Joe, he does have the taunt, but is he able to do this? The but he can down the, the tree. Oh the Winions will take this one, and game one goes the way of Team this SMG. Is crazy! That was so, so close. Oh my goodness. Winions! 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 <laughs> but let's bring, bring back Vertigo into this one. Let's just kind of make some sense of what we just saw here. I, oh my goodness, again he's speechless, again he's speechless, right? And remember, he bought up a Team Evil, so he probably, you know, that's a bit of a It a hurt chip. me too, yeah. I went for Team it Evil hurts. as it well. Hurts. I'm sure that's why you're super excited, I get it, I get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>